What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jealous and today I'm going to be building a competitive OU team around Life Orb Clefable. Then I will be hopping on the Pokemon Showdown ladder to test out the team and make improvements. The moveset that I have right here is the one that Smogon recommends with Magic Guard, Life Orb Offensive with Max Special Attack. We have enough speed to outspeed Bulky Corviknight, however what I did is I put a bit more speed on here to be able to outspeed opposing Life Orb Clefable in case people import a similar set. Then I just have the rest in HP investment. These three coverage moves, Moonblast, Flamethrower, and Thunderbolt, basically hit the entire tier. The one thing that switches in is bulky Rotom Heat, so I want to ensure that I have a check to that when I'm building the team. A great starting point and alongside Clefable is actually Dragapult or Hydreigon. The reason being, when you think of Pokemon that respond to the combination of those two, one or the other, Mandibuzz, Grimmsnarl, or Tyranitar all come to mind, and against all three of those, you can just U-turn out, and because they're all Dark-type, you get free momentum into Life Herb Clefable. You don't even take hazard damage due to Magigard, and you can threaten them out with Moonblast, so I love the combination here. I'm going to stick with the Dragapult today because I've been spamming Hydreigon, particularly Nasty Plot, a lot, but if you're going to run U-turn, I would definitely just stick with, like, Choice Scarf. I've even seen, like, Choice Scarf Nasty Plot with Dynamax a few times, but that's not something I would mess around with. Unless, I don't know, maybe I'll try it at some point, but I don't think Choice Scarf Nasty Plot's that great. Let's go ahead and run Choice Specs on you. Normally I would run Thunderbolt to be able to 2-hit kill Mandibuzz and Pex, but I feel like the momentum into Clef is just going to be better, so I'm going to run U-Turn here. With Shadow Ball, Draco, and Flamethrower. I love Infiltrator too, because it's able to hit through Glalie's Substitute. And Sub Moody Glalie is one of the most annoying things in the tier right now, so that's really valuable. From here, I did mention I want something to be able to switch into Rotom Heat. What can do that for us? I mean, Seismitoad. Two below it. Hmm. I feel like I'll just go with that, because it provides me rocks, too. What else can do it? Maybe, like, Conkeldur could threaten it out, I guess. But I feel like Seismitoad is just the best option. Dracovish. I mean, I don't want to double up on dragons as fun as a Dracovish is, so... I'll save Dracovish for another video, we'll add it to another team, but today I want to make sure I put Water Absorber on here because the last time I ran Seismitoad, I think I ran Swift Swim on a non-rain team, so gotta be careful. Let's run Leftovers with Scald, Earthquake, and then just Stealth Rocks and Toxic to be able to wear it on Pokemon like Mandibuzz. I mean, Mandibuzz is kind of a like annoyance for Dragapult, so in case Clefable doesn't get the positioning, Toxic and it could be the other option right now. Let's go ahead and run max defense. I saw a few people running 24. I don't know what that does. 24 and spit off that is. But if anybody knows, if you could let me down, let me know down below in the comments, that would mean a lot. Let's go ahead and run minus speed because I do have both a special attack and a physical attack right here. And then I'll put four in spit off. From here, what does the team need? We are very weak to Galarian Darmanitan. I'm not using a Rotom. I don't think to check that. I mean, it is the best option, but. I kind of want to run a faster Scarfer. The thing is, like, a Scarfer is not going to switch in anyway. It's just going to revenge kill it. That could be enough, though. I'm not going to run Ditto. What do we do? Let's look down here. Are there any Pokemon faster than base 95 besides Inteleon, which I ran before as a choice Scarfer? What else could do the job? I guess, like, Gengar. But I'm going to get Gengar team builder very soon, actually. Maybe even tomorrow, because Clefable and then Gengar. But let's go ahead and run... What else can outspeed choice Scarf, Galarian, Darm? I want to add something that I haven't used yet throughout the entire gen. Let's look for that. Choice Scarf Silvali to speed tie? Yeah, no. Anything else? Thievil? Thievil's very slow, wow. Thievil's also horrible, so let's not do that. Weavile? Okay. You get low kick, right? You do get low kick. Okay, so... Do you still get knockoff? You don't get knockoff. I think I'm going to run Choice Scarf Weavile over Choice Scarf Galarian Darmanitan, which is... I know really silly, but I, I want to do it. Like, why not? Let's go ahead and run Icicle Crash. I'm running Shard on a Scarf set anyway, because it could be good against, like, a Dragapult with a Dragon Dance. And then let's run uh, Throat Chop, I think is the next best thing. Let me just type in Dark and see what else you get first before I, like, commit to that. Night Slash, no. Yeah, I guess it's Throat Chop with uh, Choice Scarf. So Choice Scarf Weavile, let's do it. With Max Attack. The thing is with Choice Scarf Weavile, I basically have to run Corviknight alongside it, because I need the Defogger and Momentum on the team, so... I think I'll just go ahead and slap that on now, like, bulky Corviknight or bulky Mandibuzz are kind of necessities, and I don't want to double up on dark types, so I'm just going to go ahead and run Corviknight right now with the leftovers there. Actually, I think I'm going to run a very bulky set instead of the fast variant that I usually run. I think what Smogon recommends you do is run 76 defense with a plus defense nature, minus special attack, and then I just run max HP and 180 and spidef. 
I think, actually, the slower U-turn could be better, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick with minus special attack. And then I was thinking about doing minus speed, but I feel like, let's just speed tower with the plus and bulky, bulky Corviknight. Let's run U-turn, Roost, Brave Bird, and um, Defog, obviously, because I need Defog for Weavile. From here, we still don't switch into Galarian Darm, which is really sad. Aegislash is not a switch in. I think that... Rotom Heat's looking so good. There's two reasons. Obviously, Galarian Darm switch in. We already have Seismitoad as somewhat of a rain check, but what Rotom Heat would allow me to do is also check Opposing Life Orb Clefable, which is really valuable because we're very weak to that as well. In fact, like this, this, and this gets hit super effectively, and then Seismitoad and Clefable don't really want to take Moonblast, so I think I'm going to run Heavy Duty Boots Rotom for today with just dual status, dual stab, with, uh, yeah, Thunder Wave, Willow. Overheat and Volt Switch seems fine. Do we have double pressure, by the way? We have two pressure users. That could be useful to PP stall. Let's go ahead and run max HP, max defense with this nature and then four and speed def. And I think that is the team. So I'm excited to see. It's funny. This team is based around Clefable, but I'm actually curious to see how much Choice Scarf Weavile can do as well. Let's make sure Clefable does some work though. So I'll be right back with the first game. All right, I have a game right here. One situation I want to take advantage of is you turning out on the Mandibuzz with my Dragapult into Clefable. I think that'll be really valuable. What I want to do right here is lead off with my Seismitoad, I believe. They don't really have the best anti-lead. Like, even Drill is not too big of an issue because of my Fizz Def. They decide to lead off with the Mandibuzz, which I don't really care about. I can choose to go for Toxic. But I think Rocks initially is probably better. The thing is, if they go for a knockoff, I want to go for the Toxic first. But if they U-turn out, that would be a little bit worse for me. Let's go for the rocks, as they go for a Toxic of their own, okay. Interesting. Well, I think I'll just Toxic them now, because they're gonna Defog, right? So what is the set? Toxic, Defog, Roost, Knockoff? Something like that? That seems to be the situation here. I think I want to get out of here, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna go Hard Clef. It doesn't look like they have U-turn. The thing is, like, they could pivot out this turn, which would, like, make rocks so much better. But then I don't see them pivoting out when I could just rocks again. I'm gonna go Clef. They really do, huh? So I should have gone for rocks again. I mean, I think I think I could just go for Thunderbolt. I have a safe switch into Excadrill with Corviknight, so I'm not too worried about that. They could go to Rotom Heat, but that would just give me my Seismitoad again, so I don't think that would be the best for them either. They could also just stay in and get up a T-Spike, but um, I mean, how annoying would that be? Let's just see how much my Thunderbolt here does. Like, I think they're going Rotom or Drill, but I don't want to predict it yet. Like, I could easily click, like, Flamethrower or Moonblast here, but if I overpredict and they get up a T-Spec, that would be annoying. They do go Drill, so pretty obvious, but I didn't really want to predict that. Because, like I mentioned, I have my Corviknight right here for this, so... Let's bring that in and just Defog immediately. They're gonna immediately bring in the Rotom Heat, and this allows me to get in my Toad. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I don't think you can kill me with anything, though. How worried about it am I, though? Because it could actually be get kind of out of hand if it's, like, the, the Dynamax. Am I willing to just rocks up on this thing and not care? I think I am. So they go for the Dynamax. I think Dragapult can take this on after, so I'm not too concerned. Um, I, I guess I just sack you off now, yeah. And then let's get in Dragapult here and click. A Wormwind. Th the thing that sucks about this is they can easily get in Mandibuzz now, which is really lame. So I do 30, but I think without the Dynamax, they should die to this next one. And eh, maybe not. Maybe with a good roll, they die. I don't think I'll die, though, because I actually overheat my just right up do it. I think they're calcing Mandibuzz, but I don't think Mandibuzz comes in here. Yeah, that's able to live. Do they kill me, though? Oh, I, I, they crit me. I don't know if the crit mattered or not, but if it did, that kind of sucks. Um, okay, so I'm, kind, I'm in kind of a tough spot, obviously. Who's my best endgame? Weavile or Clef? I need Clef to, like, break through here. Um, in this situation, I'll go Weavile. And I'll just click Throat Chop. Now let's Psychical Crash. They go to Pex, pretty obvious, but like it's okay. I can just go to Clefable now. Man, maybe I should have predicted their Exc Excadrill the other time. That might have been the better option here. I think maybe Weavile can do it though. They go right for Scald, that is okay. What I can do here is just hit him up with... I'm going to go for Flamethrower this time. As they try to make the drill pit, it is able to live though. That's so bad. I needed that to kill. Because now they're going to spin and I can't get rocks back up. 
I guess I'll just take the kill, but that's really bad for me. Yeah, I think I needed that kill right there. Although Clefable does look very good now. The problem is, I think I'm too weak. Can they revenge me with anybody? Maybe Ditto. They go to Rotom. I don't think Rotom beats me, though. I guess it could Nasty Plot, but I think it's going to overheat immediately. Oh, it goes for Rest. That's kind of cool. Resto Chesto. That's actually really bad for me. I'm memorializing. I'll go for Moonblast. I do 28. No drop. I'll go to Rotom here on the overheat. I take a bit, but it's not the end of the world. And now what I can do is just Volt Switch out on the Pex and bring in Clef again. Okay, so this is not horrible now, but I think I can still... I'm still in a tough spot, I'm not gonna lie. I'll Thunderbolt here. Ideally, they don't go hard Rotom again. I think that would be way too offensive. I also wonder what their Dragapult is. That's gonna be kind of big. They actually hard switch it in here, so I think I just Moonblast for the KO. I don't see another option. Hopefully, they don't, like, get a special attack drop with Shadow Ball. That would be pretty bad as well. But you never know. Are they going to pivot out now? I don't think you... They actually are. Back to who? Pex? I don't know if that's going to help you a ton. Or do you go Ditto here? Yeah, I kind of have them in a tricky spot with my Clef right now, I must admit. They go to Ditto. So with the Ditto on the field, I can easily just 2-hit KO that. I think I'd just go for it too. Like, I could also Moonlight to scout their attack, but if they drop me, that's just going to be more annoying. So let's go for Moonblast. Like, I could Moonlight, then go Corviknight. That's the thing. But I feel like i just take the kill now. Would Clef being too low lose me the game? That's the question. I think I'm just going to kill it. Should I Thunderbolt, though? Because if they go to Toxapex, then... And I'd want to keep the Ditto. That would be better for me. I'm going to Thunderbolt. They go for Moonlight. That's fine. Thunderbolt's doing 42. They're obviously locked into that. Hmm... Do I Thunderbolt again? I'm gonna have Moon, Bla Moon Blast this time as they go to Rotom. So the thing is with the Rotom, I kind of need this gone, so I'm just gonna... I need to get this player out. Do I Moon Blast on Nasty Plot or do I Moonlight on the attack? Because if they overheat immediately, I'm just gonna Moonlight Moon Blast as they go for Nasty Plot. Perfect. And now what I do is I just get in my Rotom again. They'll be able to kill my Rotom, but that's okay. I think that's okay. The other option is... No, there is no other option. I go Rotom. They choose to just rest it up. Okay, that's fine. So, now they get more momentum here, I believe. I just go for a Volt Switch. Back to Clef, I think. Would Overheat blow me away? I feel like Overheat would just blow me away. I'm going to go for Moonblast, and then I'm going to go to Rotom this turn. Or maybe, because I got the drop, I think I'm comfortable with just spamming Moonblast now. That's a crit. I think they're 100% going to rest here. Yeah, so I'm just going to continue spamming attacks and see what I can do. Because I once again get- Moonblast is so good. Can I just crit? Like, I need one crit through this thing to be able to knock it out. They stayed asleep again, but they're going to wake up and rest here. They're, like, playing with odds a lot, though. Like, I have one crit is all it takes, and then your Rotom is dead. And then I think Clef just solos your team from there. Because Ditto is too weak. Like, Siri can do a bit of damage back to me, but... I don't think that's going to save you the game. This is really annoying. <laughs> I'm down to 12 Moonblasts. They're going to rest again. One crit. Come on, Clefable. I mean, they're getting pretty unlucky with the sleep turns, too. Nope, not nothing there. Do I switch out? No, nah, I should continue going for these odds. How have I not crit once? Like, I flicked Moonblast so many times. Oh, there's a crit. Nice. Please don't wake up now. <laughs> I just gotta keep you low, that's it. And then I think I'm fine. Yeah, they like when you're playing on the defensive like that, I will eventually crit through you, so. Now let's see what they try to do. Maybe they'll try to like rest it up on something like Corviknight or Weaval later, but I think 22% is probably in range of Weaval. I'll run that in the calculator, I guess. Um, I need to put this in here. And then my Weaval set against Rotom Heat. Do they not have the sword and shield set in here? Well, okay, I'll just go ahead and put max defense with bull. Never mind, it can easily live an icicle crash. So I kill that, they go to Ditto next. I think I just killed Ditto as well. Or I go to Rotom. 
It might be better to go to Rotom. So I'll go to Corviknight on the Moonlight. That's fine. Because now that I know they're locked into Moonlight, I just got a free U-turn back to my Clef. Yeah, let's go Clef here and just Moonblast. Super safe click, but that's fine. They go for U-turn. That's not too big of a deal. They might bring back Ditto. Hmm. I need Clef for this endgame because Clef is, I think, the only way I beat Pax. They go to this here. I'll just Thunderbolt now. Are they going to give me more damage in the Dragapult? Like, what's the game plan? Maybe I should Moonlight up. Yeah, I think I'll Moonlight as they Scald, and I'll just spam Thunderbolt. Because I'm getting a little too low there. I don't want to be in range of Spec Shadow Ball. That would be, like, really horrible. That did 46. That does absolutely nothing. But once again, they're on the defensive. They're, like, playing against Parahax. Or just another crit, either way. Oh, that's doing a lot. Hold up. Can I, like, para or crit once? Like, I don't think they can stall this. If they somehow manage to stall this, that would be really surprising, but I don't think it's possible. One para or one crit, man. <laughs> I think you should have learned your lesson with the Rotom, right? Come on. Okay, can I get a roll here? Have I gotten a 48? I have gotten a 48 roll. Come on, Clef. No. <laughs> Why? That was the turn. How many more recovers? 10. And I have, what, 13 Thunderbolts? I just need one lucky turn, and then I'm fine. Like, even like even a para would be enough. I don't need the crit, I just need a para. That was a 49 roll, too. So they bring in Ditto. I think I just killed this. Like, this is getting way out of hand now. No, I'm keeping you low, dude. They bring back the pecs, but now Ditto is way too weak. And once again, like, what do you do here? Do you spam the recover and hope I don't hex through you? Like, if I don't get one hex to put my Clefable off 24 Thunderbolts, that would be really unlucky. No, they go to Dragapult. I get the para on Dragapult, okay. Well, I guess they switched out on the correct turn, huh? I'll go for Moonlight here. I don't want to waste my Thunderbolts. That's a, that's a losing play, I think. I need the Thunderbolts to break through this. Alright, come on. How does playing this defensively work is working out? That's con so confusing. Alright, one hack, Clefable. You've clicked Thunderbolt like 18 times into this thing. I'm gonna... I was actually thinking... Oh, there it is. A crit, but it was on the wrong turn. I needed it earlier. Maybe I'm fine, because this thing can't recover too many more times. And they went for Scald. There's Dragapult. Uh, what's my best play? Because I'm still slower. Am I in range of spec Shadow Ball? Dragapult? Shadow Ball doesn't kill me at all. Oh, they go for Phantom Force, so I should have Moonlighted, but I think this is okay, because what I do here is I think I get in Corviknight and just U-turn. They actually get full parrot on that, which is kind of unlucky for them. I think I just go for U-turn here. Or Brave Bird. Wow, this is an insanely long first game. Jeez. They go to Ditto. This is another Corviknight. What I do here is I bring in... I like Weavile Icicle Crash, but it does invite in the... The Toxapex. I also like Rotom Overheat a lot. Let's do that. Because this way they guaranteed can't recover this Ditto. And I won't Volt Switch here. We'll always Overheat to try to kill this. So they go to Pex. I do miss, but I can get the Para that I need. Yeah, because I have I have Thunder Wave on you, so that's good, better for me here. Ideally, they don't bring back Ditto now. Nice, I needed that. And now what I can do is just Volt out. There are nine people in this game. So there's 32. There's another recover. So they're down to four recovers. I think I have to Moonlight up here. As they go right for Scald, I'm just gonna flamethrower them down. Like, I don't want to use my Thunderbolts just yet. Eh, let's use them. Because I don't think I'm losing to Pex no matter what with this Para on it. There's a Scald. Last Thunderbolt. They're down to three recovers after this next one. I think I'm gonna Moonblast here. 
Okay, so they're getting pretty low. I'm going to Moonlight here. Ditto is low. Let's just spam Moonblast. I only have two Moonblasts left, huh? Maybe I should try to defog for Weavile before it gets poisoned. Yeah, I think that's actually what I should try to do here. Yeah, let's just defog. I need to force this thing to use its recoveries, which I can do with Brave Bird as well. Maybe I should just spam Brave Bird. Although, no, if they go Ditto and copy me, and then they get to roost it up, that would be a lot worse for me, right? I'm gonna defog. They go to Ditto, that's that's not that bad, okay? I can go for U-turn here. They're obviously gonna click a roost. Then I go to Rotom. And I think what I have to do here is Volt Switch out. On either Pex or Mandibuzz. Yeah, there's that. Now what I do is I go back to you. I think this time I click U-turn. On the Ditto. Yeah, there's that. So I can wear Ditto down like this, which is good to know. I think here what I want to do is get in Clef and Flamethrower. Pex comes right back in, but Pex is eventually going to run out of recoveries here. Maybe I should just burn through the last Thunderbolt. They go for Haze. Okay, so they're, they don't want to use those recoveries, but now they have to, basically. Because I just spam Flamethrower here to make sure they don't switch out safely. That's the play. There's a Scald. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this. Unless I'm missing something. Like, I don't think this Pex can stall my team. There's a Haze. They're eventually just going to switch it out, but my play here is to spam Flamethrower. Yeah, two recoveries after this next one. And I will knock something out here, so there's two. Now they switch out, right? No, they're continuing to do this. I think I go to Corviknight here. On the Haze and Brave Bird. No, I have to U-turn on the Ditto every time. I can never get that let that thing come in for free. And then I bring this in and I click Volt Switch here. On the Toxapex and force it to recover again. Or maybe I just overheat. I just overheat. Yeah, because even if Pex comes in, it's going to take okay damage from overheat plus Volt Switch to where it might have to recover again. Which would be fine. This might be the longest battle I've ever had on my channel, I think. 90 turns in. Oh, you know what? I'll put it in. Like, I've never actually used a battle this long. I actually miss again, which is probably better. I'll go for Volt here. Because I can't let them attack Rotom. And then I think I go to Corviknight here. Hmm. Black Sludge. I wish I had Knock Off on Weavile. That would be so much better. So they get in the Ditto, which is interesting. I don't think that helps them at all. Because what I do here is I bring in... I can go Weavile in third shot, but it's not going to kill, so I'll instead make this play. Two recoveries left. So now they know my entire set. They go for overheat, that would have done like nothing. Now what I can do is just flamethrower this down. I'm slowly weakening Ditto, and once Ditto dies, I think that's the key. Yeah, Ditto fainting is what I need to have happen here. Let's moonlight up. They bring this in. I go to Corviknight. Are they going to double to Ditto, though? That's the thing. They get full paired. I actually don't want them to get full paired. I click U-turn here. I can't let the Ditto come in. Go back to Clef on the Scald. Um, 13 more of those. I'll go to you on the full para. That 
back to Clef on the haze. Go to you here. I'm gonna Brave Bird. I don't. I don't think they're going Ditto uh, this turn. I'm gonna U-turn one more time. They went Ditto. Okay, good. Uh, phew, that's scary. Now what I can do is bring this in, and I think I just click Throat Chop. Yeah, because Pex comes back in. Pex takes a lot. It might be in my best interest just to spam Throat Chop and see what happens. There's a Scald. Now they have to switch out, right? To who, though? Like, nothing comes in here. Oh, they're risking it. Okay, they have one recover left. There's a full para. I need to not get burnt, I think, and then I'm fine. They're down to zero recoveries. Okay, this is what I needed. There's a Scald. Are they going to switch out eventually? What's the play? I think they know I'm Banded or Scarf. The thing is, they can't really assume my item because I'm not I'm not a damage boosting item. So no burn. Okay, that's really nice. I'll go for Throat Chop one more time here. Let's see, do they preserve it or not? You could go to Manda Buzz, I guess, but Ditto is way too low now. They suck off the Dragapult, okay. To bring in Ditto. I just go to Corviknight and U-turn. Or maybe I just go to- no, I go, I go to Corviknight every time. Although doesn't Corviknight kind of solo now? I'll just go to Corviknight, it's fine. Or I saw Clef. No, but Clef can still do something. Let's go to Corviknight. On the low kick and just click U-turn. Actually, I can just Brave Bird at this point. It doesn't matter. They go to Pex. It takes a bit, but they can't recover it, and that's the issue with their plan. They can regenerate it all they want, but eventually they're they're just going to run out of options here. Yeah, let's go for Brave Bird here. Amanda Buzz comes in. Yep, to be expected. Now I think I just U-turn out. On that, bring you in. I'll double to Rotom here. On the packs, yeah, because this just gives me a Volt switch, which is really nice. So they stay in on it. I go to Corviknight here. They get the burn, but it shouldn't matter. Like, because of pressure, I'm uh, so far ahead now. How you turn out here? Because I think they're gonna go off a choke and hope I roost on Ditto coming in. Yeah, there we go. And now what I can do is just bring this in and click Volt switch again. Actually, I should just overheat. Pex comes back, but Pex can't win. Like, he's just drawing out the inevitable now. There's a T-spike. I just click U-turn anyway. Never let Ditto recover. That's the, that's the key here. I bring you in. Volt out on Pex, bring in Corviknight. And I think what I'll do is I'll just speed up the rest of the battle and show you guys the end. I'll be right back. So in the end, we just ended up accepting a draw for because we ended up in a situation where both of us could just switch infinitely. I thought I could PP stall it, but there was no way because they had Ditto, which just gained PP every time. And then my Corviknight wasn't taking any burn damage because I had leftovers, so it was just going to be a never-ending game. Let's go ahead and play this one. I still want to make sure to play well for the remainder of this video because even though that was a very long game, I still want to win some games. So let's see what happens here. No Shadow Ball Resist is very interesting. I really like the idea of leading Seismitoad because if they lead Pharaoh, I could just go to Rotom. As they lead Dragapult, I could choose to get a Barox on this, but I could also just Toxic hit. Let's click Toxic. I should have clicked Rocks, huh? Well, I guess I'll do that now. <laughs> Okay, um, how do I deal with this? What's the plan again? I Earthquake here, right? Let's break that and then let's... Let's spam EQ again. They might actually Dynamax this now, but... Like, I don't think that's gonna help them a ton. They actually just choose to click regular Dragon Darts. Let's click EQ here. 
Hmm. Can Clef take the Sun? I think it can. They go for raw Phantom Force. Let's give them this. Then I'll go to Clef and Dynamax. I think if I Dynamax, I live, so that should be fine. And then I should be able to just break through with Dragapult from there. Like, Dragapult does so well this game. They go for Phantom Force, so this is dead. Which is really good for me. I did, it did use my Dynamax though, which is kinda scary, but I killed that there. So I'm very happy about that. Let's see who they can revenge me with. Maybe Conkelder? Either Conkelder or Clef would come in here, I think. Or Rotom, okay. You're clicking Volt Switch into Pharah, right? Like, what is this? I'm gonna Flare here, like, I, I'm very confident. Like, even if you don't go to Pharah, I still hit everything else very hard. So I killed that there. Now what? Clef, Darm, Conkelder, Rotom. I guess you go to Darm. I don't think I'm going to go hard Rotom because I need a Rotom this game. They go to their own Clef? What do I do about this? Do I sack or do I go Rotom of my own? Because if I go Rotom of my own, I'm a bit scared of the Darm, but I have Scarf Weaval with Low Kick. Let's go to Rotom here on the Moonblast. I'm able to take that relatively well, actually. And what I can do is ideally get a slow Volt, but I think it'll be a fast one. Okay, they safely pivot back to their own. So that means I just got to kill with Shadow Ball now. I just gotta make sure I don't get reverse swept by either Darm or their Dynamax. Those are the two main things, because I can check Conk using my Corviknight. So that's dead. Nice. <laughs> Why are we going from like the longest game on the channel to like one of the shortest? What is this? Um, out comes Clef again. I think I'm willing to sack. And just get damage here. Yeah, 48 is pretty good. And now what I can do is just bring in Rotom. And click a Volt. Or actually, let's T-Wave here. Yeah, because if I T-Wave Conk, then I'm fine. They Moonlight this up, which is okay. I can just click Volt Switch here. Into Corviknight. Like, Corviknight has the spit after to take this on. At least I'm pretty sure it does. But yeah, maybe we'll get to see. They Dynamax this, okay. Uh, who do I bring in? Corviknight, right? They go for Starfall, which does make some sense. I think what I do is I U-turn out back to Rotom. Yeah, on the flare. Now what I do is I just overheat it for damage, I think. And then I try to break through with Weavile at the end. Mm, I don't want to choke this one away. I'm going to Volt. Back to Corviknight. On the full pair, okay. And now what I can do is I think I just Brave Bird. No, because I'm going to lose to Conkelder if I let this go down. I'm going to U-turn. To Rotom. And try to overheat kill somebody under the sun. Yeah, because they moonblasted. If I hit this overheat, then I think I get a kill. Because this should die under sun, even with my minimal special attack investment, and the damage on Conk would be huge, so... Let's see what they do. If they give me this, I think I just win. With Corviknight plus Weavile. Would my Clef have speed for Conk? I'm like, what, 190, I want to say? 172, so now Conk should be faster than me. Please kill. Okay, good. And now they have to go to who? Like, Conk here? No, they should go to Darm. They go to Conk though. I think Darm was the better play. Because I just Volt out here. I don't need this. It dies to both, and then I bring out Corviknight safely and Brave Bird, I believe. And that should just be it. I think they're hoping I'm not Scarf Weavile, but I am. Ooh, they got a Thunder Punch crit. That means I'm in range of Mach. Did I just lose? I think I just lost because of that. Alright, is there anything I can do here? I think I just lose because of that crit. Yeah, they have Mach. Like, my only hope here is that I'm faster. Like, that, that crit's crazy. Please be slow. I'm, like, decently fast on this clef. They go for Mach. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> Phew. That, that crit, like, actually messed me up. Because had they been faster right there with the conk, I, I lost the game. But now I think I just win by using Scarf Weavile. 
Uh, let me just make sure that Lokix is doing the damage I need it to. Scarf Weavile against Darmanitan. It is, yeah, okay. Especially with... I guess I might as well have them take the extra recoil in case it matters. If there's that, and then I just bring you in and click Scarf Low Kick for GG. Yeah, this is why I have Weavile on the team, to check Scarf Galarian Darm. The speed tier is so nice, and yeah, that is going to be GG. I will be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. My opponent has a Hydreigon, which is very problematic. I think what I want to do is lead off with... Well, Hydreigon rips my team apart. I gotta keep Clef at healthy, but it could be Flash Cannon anyway. I think I'll just lead Clef, as they lead Corviknight. The only thing that would be threatening here is Body Press, and I think I can just safely Flamethrower. So they go to Toad. Damage on Toad would actually be really good for Weavile and Rotom. That's so much damage, too. Let's attack again. I think they could give it to me, but they could go Rotom. Like, I would just give me the Toad, then go to, like, Darm. No, but they choose to make the Rotom play. I don't think that's the best idea. I'm gonna go to Toad here. I'm really tempted to just call their, like, switch out. I'm gonna Moonblast. Oh, so they tricked me. Okay. Well, I just lost my Clef. Basically. Let's go to Toad here. On the Volts, but yeah, now I just want to get up my own rocks. They could give me Life Orb if they do. Um, I don't think that's the smartest idea, though. Let's Toxic here. Because I don't want them going back to their own Toad to try to recover it. They go to Corviknight, okay. I think I'll just go to Clef at this point as they defog. I just click Flamethrower. If the size much, I'm thinking about Dynamaxing this thing soon. Like, that's what I'm looking at right now. They go to the Rotom, okay. Well, I go to Toad. Their leftovers, I have Life Orb Toad. So I guess the recovery is kind of good for them, but is that turn going to actually help them out in the long run here? Because I think my priority should be trying to get Weavile in the position to just win the game. So they bring out their Toad here to get up rocks again. I'll just Earthquake. I was hoping that would do a bit more. This thing gets Power Whip? Okay, that is news to me, and I have no speed, so that could be a speed tie. I am very out of here. I did not know that thing got Power Whip. Yeah, that is a first, for me at least. I feel like that was so obvious too. Like, not the power, but the fact that it got it and I just didn't know. But that's the first time I've actually seen it. So now let's see what they do. I could just get a slow U-turn here, ideally. Who do I bring in though? I guess like Dragapult would be my best bet to try to break down the Grim Snarl. Because I don't want Grim Snarl getting out of hand. That's kind of why I'm trying to keep my Clef a bit healthy here. But... I think I go to it's either Rotom or Dragapult. I'll go to Rotom. As they taunt. Okay, so Dragapult would have been the better play. And I could just overheat here. It doesn't really matter what they do. I'm going to hit something decently hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need Clefable for those dark types. So I'm just going to keep it in the back. I wish I didn't. Well, I, was, I wish I wasn't Choice Scarf at this point, but that's alright, I guess. So there's that. I don't want to let in the Sasma Toad here, so I'm going to make a mid-ground into my own Toad. Although, like, we've already established I don't want to risk that speed tie, so what's the better play? They could T-Wave. Would they be... No, there's no other choice card of T-Wave. Let's go to Dragapult. Like, this, I don't want the Sasma Toad coming in to get up rocks again. That's just the one thing I have to avoid, and I think I'm good here. But the thing is, what am I clicking when it comes in? Could Flamethrower do 20 to Fizz Death Toad? Seismic Toad. Max HP. Flamethrower could do 20. I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to go for... Because they Volt out. Good, good play. I think I... I didn't want Seismic Toad coming in, though. That's the problem. So now they can get in Grim Snarl, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to avoid that. And I can't even U-turn because they could have Sucker Punch. They go to Darm, though, which is also a fine play. I'll go to Rotom. Mm, this is this is lame now, because I just allowed in the, the Seismitoad again by doing all of this. 
And they're going to U-turn to try to get it in. In fact, I'm confident about that. No, they just create an Isaac Glyphrasse instead. Okay, I'll go to Rotom then. Look, I don't want them U-turning to Toad, but... Okay, I'm going to stop stressing about Toad. If it comes in, then it just comes in. Whatever. Let's click Overheat here. Would this do 20% to that? It would do. So I can just Volt Switch here. Yeah, as they try to get in Rotom again. Okay, yeah, I'm done stressing out over that Sazmatoad. I'm losing so much momentum over that, it's like, not even funny. <laughs> but I think my Weavile can just win this with Crash in the end. Yeah, so I'll go to Dragapult here. Click Shadow Ball. Yeah, Shadow Ball's okay. Like, I want to start getting damage on the Grim Snarl. That's something I haven't been able to do yet. So I think this Rotom's probably fast enough to take on Gyarados, like Drip plus one Gyarados, so it's probably not very bulky. Meaning my Weavile might have an easier time with it if it gets too much lefties back. This might be a three game live, like I'm not even kidding. <laughs> because I like to keep them around 40 to 45 minutes and I think we're already at 40. <laughs> yeah, and with how this game is going out, it's looking to be as well, I think it might be like a pretty... Short game sh what am I trying to say here? There might not be that many games during this video. So I knock a Pokemon out, finally. <laughs> Took long enough. Now they go to Grimmsnarl or Hydreigon, one of the two. If they go to Hydreigon, I might just Dynamax and like speed this up because... No, is that even worth it yet? I have a Clefable. I could just kill this though. Like that's the thing. If I Dynamax, I'm even- I'm gonna go for it. I'm debating, because I could easily go to Clef. No, I'm not going to Dynamax yet. I'm going to go to Clef. As they go to Toad, but I'm not. I'm never going to allow this thing to get up rocks. Like, I'm going to Moonblast here every time. Yeah, and just kill the Toad. I'm not over-predicting against this thing. Are they still going to play it through? Like, what's happening here? I also don't want to get swept by Galarian Darm, but I, we we know I have the Choice Guard Weavile. The problem is I need a bit of damage on that thing to ensure low kick Okos. I think we caught this earlier. Against a Darm of the Galarian variety. Yeah, 94 to 111. So this could be my chance to get that damage. They go for U-turn, okay. So the thing is, they know what I'm clicking, so they're just going to go to Corviknight. Why? What? Why would you go to Hydreigon? Did they forget they tricked me? Like, what is happening? Okay, yeah, this is over, I think. I'll go to Clef here and just Moonblast. And then, like, whatever Corviknight comes in, no matter what I have in, I think I just Dynamax. So they go for Spirit Break. It gets a drop, which is a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of makes me want to get in Toad here instead. Okay, so there's this. I don't want this Dynamax sweeping me with, like, Airstream and all that, so what's, how do I prevent that? I think I know what I gotta do. I'm gonna go to Dragapult here. Oh, it's Taunt. Yeah, this is over. What is it? I thought it would be, like, an actual threatening set, but it was just wasn't. Yeah, so I just, uh, do this. Then this. Do you actually have Sucker Punch or not? It still could be Defog Taunt. No, it would be Defog Taunt, Bulk Up, Brave Bird. That's not a set. So out comes you. I'm gonna actually keep this in the back, in case it's useful against Corviknight. And just go to Clef. Yeah, as so they crash there to kill me. Then what I do is I bring in you. Click Overheat. Hmm. Maybe I could have played this endgame a bit better, because I might have to go off odds now. Whereas I probably could have played it to where I didn't have to at all. But I don't think I can lose to Corviknight. Dynamaxing. I think I just stalled the Dynamax with my own Corviknight due to pressure. Should I keep this thing actually? Like, if I switch it out here, is that just better against Corviknight all around? Yeah, I think that's what I should do. So I shouldn't have gone to Rotom here. I, I've committed to it, let's just do this. Oh, it's the Dynamax this, so yeah, now the game is 100% over. I wish I had the overheat, obviously, because that would have been enough for Weavile to just knock it out after.
but it still shouldn't make a difference. Yeah, there's that. I go to you. I just toxic. Yeah, I just need to ensure that I can't lose to Corviknight, which I can't. As long as Specs Dragapult is there, just hit the Toxic. Good, now the game's over because I have Scarf Weavile. So now they're gonna crash. Sack you off, then go Weavile. I just low kick every time. They switch it out. I think if I want the win, then what I do is... I go Corviknight here. No, I should try to catch their double once. No, but if they kill me, I just lose. So let's go to Corviknight. They actually have a chance here. So here's what's going to happen. Yeah, that Rotom play was a mistake. I, I completely like messed that up. Although, had I hit the overheat, it was over anyway. So that was kind of a thing. I'm going to low kick once. Yeah, as they tried to make the double. So GG. Yeah, because if I switch out as they get the Dharma and I lose, so that's going to be the game, and that is going to be the live. Three game live, so not the the finest of lives right there, but it was still a pretty long one, so. I think what I'll do is actually leave a timestamp for the first game, in case you want to skip it, because that was insanely long. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.